I take a lot of pride in being myself. I'm comfortable with who I am. Film making is a miracle of collaboration. I like playing sport. And I like doing physical stuff. I like hiking and I like climbing and I like playing sport. I do a lot. But I don't like the term exercising. I feel like with sport. You're playing games. But with exercise, you're literally just trying to stop yourself from dying too young. It's weird. I always have a beard between jobs. I just let it grow until they pay me to shave it. People are quite surprised it's ginger. Sometimes they ask me if I my hair and I always say wow, no, I'm transgender. I've cried a lot because of women. I cry a lot as a person. At the heart of every really good Christmas movie is the threat, I suppose, to Christmas something is wrong with Christmas in all of these movies in the polar express there's a kid that doesn't really believe and that's the threat to Christmas in Santa Claus the movie jealousy and greed are threatening to overrun his Christmas I love Christmas I never used to I didn't hate it, but I could take it or leave it. But, as I got to the age of 25 or 26, Christmas became quite a big deal, and I love it now. I love the food, and I love sharing time with people. I've done enough for a while and people get federal up of seeing you. But apart from that, although I'm young, I need a bit of rest. You could say I have become the house husband. It's not a new man thing. It's just largely a boring man who doesn't mind staying in the house thing. I look at the Christian Bale movies, the Batman films, and that shows you that superhero movies don't just have to be about men in tights. I did undergo hypnotherapy, and it didn't work. The guy couldn't put me under. I was very disappointed. I was very keen to be suggested to have somebody tell me to run naked or club like the chicken or whatever, but it didn't work for me, I'm afraid. I considered becoming a priest very seriously. I wanted to travel the world. By the time I turned 16, I realized I was only in it for selfish reasons. And, more importantly, I didn't want to sacrifice the ladies. Film sets are a strange place, but an exciting place. I do love my work. I really enjoy going to work. But if you just spend all your time on film sets or even on stage, you can become a Michael Jackson figure, living in your own little universe. The minute you start to strategize too much, the more you start to think you're in control of your own fate. And you're not, really. Passing my motorcycle theory test gave me a disproportionate feeling of greatness. Distance is a bad excuse for not having a good relationship with somebody. 
It's the determination to keep it going or let it fall by the wayside. That's the real reason that the relationships continue. Basically, every character I've ever played, I've based entirely on internal conflict. And I love doing that, because I think it's very human. I was talking to one of my aunties at Christmas and she said she didn't think it was ever in my nature to go against the grain. That I was always a good boy. I think she was right. I did always want to be good. As I get older, I want to do more films for kids because they're the best audience around. Just putting a smile on a kid's face is the best thing. I was brought up by my grandparents. So people go, oh, what was that like? That must have been hard. And you go, no, it wasn't. It was just completely actually normal because the new norm seems to be whatever you make of it, doesn't it? Nobody can be whatever they want to be. No kid can do whatever they want to do. It's a total lie. But they have the right to try and do whatever they want to do. That's their right. To aim to do whatever they want to do. That's the main thing that attracts me. Characters who have big journeys. I like playing those people. I really liked Starter for 10 because I grew up watching 1980s themed films like Street. Elmo's Fire and The Breakfast Club and I've always wanted to play the underdog lead hero in a 1980s inspired film. A story about my life would be utterly dull. Shooting films in Britain is always difficult because we've never got enough money to make them. I think the most romantic thing you can do is just turn up. Turn up when it's difficult for you. Travel halfway around the world or just up the road. Whatever it is, just be there.